Did you know that Arizona is actually an excellent place for bird watching? Hi, I'm Kelly Norton, your AZ Realty Lady, and this video today is going to be about one of the great hobbies that you can take up here in Arizona, uh, which is bird watching. So I will talk about different species and uh, also give you some tips on how to keep pets safe because some of these birds are the big giant scary ones. So stay tuned and if you wouldn't mind, subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you continue to watch my videos, be educated about Arizona, and uh, remember click that bell too so you're notified when I put up new videos. I'll be right back. Hi, I'm Kelly Norton, your AZ Realty Lady at EXP Realty. Count on me for all things Arizona real estate. All right, so let's start this bird watching video today uh, with owls. Guys, we have 13 species of owls here in Arizona. And one of them that I always like to make sure that my buyers are aware of is the great horned owl. So beautiful, beautiful owl. This is the one that you're gonna see most of the time out in the desert that is gonna be perched up at the highest point. So a lot of times you'll see those on the top of the saguaro cactus, which is so cool because you think in the distance you're looking at the saguaro, and then all of a sudden you see the top of the swirl turn because those owls just slowly turn their head and it is really cool. So anyway, the reason why this is really important for you to have some knowledge about this particular owl, their wingspan is three to five feet long. So the great horned owl have huge talons that allow them to pick up small animals. So their diet is very diverse. So there's 200 species of mammals that they eat and 300 species of birds that they will eat. And uh, I hate to break it to you, but one of those species of animals that they uh, don't mind trying to eat is small pets. So if you have a uh, small dog, just be very aware that we do have these owls in Arizona, mostly in the desert area um, or in, in like a wooded area, but they will pick up a small dog and there are things that you can do to help you know keep your pet safe so one thing would be the uh, predator cage so a predator cage is uh, where your dog goes out the doggy door so let's say you want your dog to be able to go outside during the day but you aren't there to to be able to be right over them with a leash so what you can do is get a predator cage built that when they walk outside their doggy door they're enclosed so nothing can get to them. So some people have you know, concerns with coyotes. So coyotes, birds, hawks, owls, they can't get to your pet. So if you need a reference for a predator cage company, please let me know because I can definitely help you with that. Great horned owl, absolutely beautiful. They're only about two and a half to three and a half pounds, but they can pick up a small dog. So they can definitely pick up things that are uh, several times their body weight. So just keep that in mind, especially if you have a, a pet that's under 10 pounds. So another owl would be the barn owl. This is also um, nicknamed the ghost owl. It has um, a, a heart-shaped face. It's absolutely beautiful. We'll put a picture up here for you. Now, barn owls are pretty much found near barns or in holes, um, in trees, they just kind of hide. Now, this population is getting fewer and fewer. Um, they unfortunately have been getting hit by cars. Um, they've also, they're losing their habitat as well. And what's kind of interesting, a lot of people don't think about is when you use pesticides around your house, that can actually indirectly poison birds just like this owl because they're going to be picking up those um, mice or little critters and could indirectly be poisoned by the pesticide. So if you do get a glimpse at these, they are absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite owls and they have such a really beautiful, beautiful sound. So um, it's kind of eerie actually, but it is very unique. And um, if you get a glimpse of that, definitely take a picture. We'll put a photo up here for you too. So you can definitely find some gorgeous birds um, at a spot in Sierra Vista. Now Sierra Vista is in the southern portion of Arizona, so it's just south of Tucson. The Ramsey Canyon Preserve actually lures a ton of these birds. 
um, because of the, the habitat and climate there. So um, I have not memorized all of these birds, so I'm gonna use my phone <laughs> and read off some of these. One thing that I think is super cool, I love hummingbirds. I think they're magnificent creatures. So it is actually called the hummingbird capital of the United States. So if you want your hummingbird fix, definitely the place to go. I just think it's so cool because a lot of people don't think of Arizona as being this place that would be known for having the most hummingbirds in the country. Like who would have thought of that? <laughs> People don't think of that with Arizona, but we really do have amazing species of birds here. All right, so let me read off a couple others that you'll you'll have out there. You'll have the um, Chihuahuan Desert Blends, and those come from the Rocky Mountains and the Sierra Madre. You have the uh, Green Kingfishers, Greyhawks, Caston's Kingbird. So in the Whitewater Draw uh, wildlife area, between October and March, there's 20,000 cranes. Again, I can't remember all this, so I'm, I'm cheating by using my phone here, but 20,000 cranes. So that's October to March, and that's at the Whitewater Draw Wildlife Area. And Sandhill Cranes is the main attraction. Um, it's a 1,500-acre preserve, so it, it's really beautiful just to go, go out there, spend a day out there. Uh, they're out all day long. Uh, you'll also see White-Winged Dove and you'll see the Northern Harrier, you will see uh, the Sora, and the Whitewater Draw Wildlife Area uh, is 4423 West Bagby Road. So Cave Creek Canyon in more of the Phoenix area, it's a bit north, but Cave Creek Canyon uh, actually attracts a lot of birds as well. So I'm gonna read off to you what you can find here. One of the top birding sites, of course, is Cave Creek Canyon, which I mentioned. So here there's six habitat biomes that the birds go to. So in the spring or the fall, you can catch the Arizona woodpecker and the lazuli. And in the summer, you can see the elegant trogon and birders, I'm sorry if I am pronouncing that wrong. And then also you can hear the uh, whippoorwill and the song of the Mex Mexican chickadee. We have That's a cane fisher. Spring. I'm not sure where they migrate from. These are mud swallow nests under a bridge. So up at our cabin, which is, if you've heard of Pace in Arizona, we can put that on the, on the screen for you, but uh, it's about 20 minutes to the northeast of Payson in an area called Christopher Creek. And up there we have uh, blue jays that are called stellar blue jays. They're absolutely beautiful. They basically look like blue jays on steroids. Um, <laughs> they're just bigger, more beautiful, and um, I always have videos and pictures, so I'll definitely put some on here for you. So if you're looking for water birds, the Riparian Preserve at Water Ranch is where you can get a great glimpse of a lot of these different water birds. So this is right in Metro Phoenix, guys. This is amazing because you don't have to go out into the wildlands to, to be able to look at birds. You could actually be right in the Phoenix area. I'm gonna read off some that you can find there. In the winter, ducks and water birds, of course, rosate, spoonbill, and little bittern, and also the American white pelican, the little blue heron, which I've seen blue herons actually out at our lakes out here too. That's another great spot to find uh, birds is any of our, any of our lakes. Uh, Canyon Lake I've seen a lot, Roosevelt Lake I've seen quite a few, and then um, up in Forest Lakes, a little bit further north, there's a lot of areas for birds up there too. Uh, you can find the wood stork there. So this is the Riparian Preserve at Water Ranch. This is in Gilbert, Arizona, 2757 East Guadalupe Road. So Boyce Thompson Arboretum is another spot. Uh, this is on the outskirt area of uh, Phoenix and definitely you can find some hummingbirds there. So uh, woodpeckers as well, the ladder-backed woodpecker, Clark's nutcracker, uh, Rufus-backed robin. And that is in Superior, Arizona. 
so which is an old mining town and that's over to the far east um, so outside of Phoenix, you definitely need to go uh, about an hour and a half to two hours, just head, head east, um, but you can certainly find it if you look up Boyce Thompson Arbor Arboretum um, in Superior. Now in Northern Arizona, you have Watson Woods Riparian Preserve. Um, now there's totally different species of, of trees out here. So you have the cottonwood trees, and uh, then you also have the willow trees, which allow you to have a different species of birds. So there's a 126 acre site um, at Watson Woods, and you will be able to see there more water birds and shore birds. Um, so another cool thing is that you can actually see bald eagles there. So uh, the bald eagle, the uh, peregrine and osprey. I've seen ospreys up at our cabin up in the Christopher Creek area. So anything in that northern portion, uh, whether you're uh, Flagstaff North or you go Northeast, you have a chance of seeing these types of birds. Absolutely beautiful. I, I thought that you could only see these types of birds if you were in Alaska or if you were out in Yellowstone, but here in Arizona, we have them too. And definitely in the summer, uh, you'll be able to see the wood duck and the uh, yellow warblers, western scrub jay, the acorn woodpecker, the pygmy nuthatch, and Glen Canyon National Rec uh, Recreation Area. So that's right between the Arizona and Utah borders. And you can get the Mexican spotted owl, southwestern willow flycatcher, the um, peregrine falcon, and um, that one definitely going to be, you know, more to the north. So again, between Arizona and Utah. So up past Flagstaff. So again, guys, Arizona has a lot to do. A lot of people don't think that we do, but uh, bird watching is just one of those. So um, unfortunately, I don't get a lot of time to go out and uh, bird watch, but up at the cabin, certainly see a few and wanted to make sure that I share that with you. So um, I'm definitely not an expert on the subject, but I wanted to let you know we do have that here. So hope you don't mind that I was kind of looking at my phone and getting the, the data that I had, had researched on it uh, to help you. So hopefully that helps if you do want to come out for a visit or you move to Arizona and you have that hobby from other places in the country, then hey, you can still do it here. So again, I'm Kelly Norton, the AZ Realty Lady. Guys, subscribe to my channel and click the bell. I help people that look to relocate to or within the Phoenix and surrounding areas. So if I can help you with your next home sale or purchase, please give me a call or text me. It's the best way to reach me. Or you can always uh, just go ahead and message me here. And please, I'd love to, to hear what your favorite bird is that you like to watch and um, what areas you find these beautiful birds. Please comment here. Thank you so much. Take care.